Hey guys, it is Sunday, October 16th, and, well, this weekend and this week have been very interesting. Not not in a good way, interesting. They've been bad. It, it's been bad, a bad week, especially since, like, Thursday. <laughs> well, Thursday I had my first psychology test. And that, well, let's just say it wasn't the best test I've ever taken. We're, we're just going to go with that. Um, I did have my first midterm yesterday morning at 9.30. I mean, really, why do they want to get a whole bunch of people up on a Saturday morning at 9.30 to take a test? That just seems kind of mean to me. But anyways, that was stats, and it actually didn't go that badly, I don't think. I think I did all right on that, so that's good. But, this weekend I've probably been home for a total of like 10 hours. And I have a chemistry lab tomorrow. So, for the past four hours, I've been trying to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do for this pre-lab. And, like, actually getting through the pre-lab experiment thing, whatever it's... I don't really know what it's called. But anyways, that was fine. But... Figuring out what the heck you're supposed to do for the calculations and all that stuff afterward is totally screwing with my brain, and it's making me very angry and very sad, and I would really like to just kind of rip up all of my chemistry textbook and all my notes and everything because they don't help at all, and I don't know what the heck the professors and stuff expect of you when they don't even te teach you the stuff before you go into the lab, which is just ridiculous in my opinion. But, so yeah, I'm probably going to get like a zero on this lab, pre-lab report thing because I don't know what's going on. And the chem and the chemistry textbook knows nothing about what I'm doing. And I even went back to my Mr. Deacon notes and they have nothing, no examples to help me. There's one, but it's a really stupid example, and I don't even really know why I wrote it down, because it made no sense to me at all a year later. So yeah, that's awesome. On the bright side, I got an iPhone, which is over there, and I'm too lazy to walk over there and get it. But it's fun, and yeah, I'm, it's making a lot of noise. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but I'm getting texts from... Emily and Florence saying, do you understand? Because I don't understand. And I'm pretty much saying exactly the same thing to them. So we're all just in a big circle of confusion and chemistry and numbers that don't make any sense. And yeah, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, new phone. That's, that's probably like the highlight of my weekend. Because I got it pretty much right after my stats exam. So it, was, it felt kind of like a present, even though I have to pay for it, which is kind of sad because it's, it's expensive and stuff, but I'm willing to pay for it because it's fun. So yeah, warning for the people who I go to school with, tomorrow I will probably be totally dead and just an unhappy character. So I'm sorry if I'm rude or mean or unresponsive or asleep when you try to talk to me tomorrow. It, it's not my fault. You can blame chemistry. <laughs> um, but I don't really have that much to talk about this week, really. I mean, I have no life because of school and work and family and dance and school and midterms. So, yeah. I don't really have much of a life right now. If I did, I'd probably have more to talk about. So, when I lost the game, I'm sorry. It's not my, well, I guess it is my fault, but now it's your problem because you've lost the game too. So, you can be mad at me later for that after you watch this video, and you can comment how I'm not cool and all that stuff, but right now I really don't care because I'm too dead from stupid chemistry brain explosions. So that that's all 
for me this week. I'm sorry that it was kind of lame and complainish and stuff. But what are you going to do? So I will see you guys next week. Bye.